going guys it's been a while since I've done a one-on-one -on -one with the camera and talking to you guys um, but last week I had something pretty cool happen um, I usually buy most of my baits and whatnot that I really need um, up here at Brian's Osage Outdoors here in Lori but recently I've been trying to try different baits and find different colors and you know there are some baits they just didn't have so I've used Tackle Warehouse in the bat in the past, and I was on their website and looking at some of the different bait colors and options that they had, and they had several different brush hogs, which is one of my favorite baits to throw. The different colors that I'd never seen before, so I ordered about thirty-five to fifty dollars worth of uh, brush hogs, and you know I went I got them delivered on I think it was Wednesday last week. I immediately, you know, I was checking out the colors and opened up the package. One of the packages I saw was kind of interesting. It's the South Africa Special. Now, I had never seen this, but I fish a lot of night tournaments. So I was thinking, ooh, this might be a color for me. You know, it's got this, uh, you know, it's, that's what a brush hog looks like. That's a standard brush hog. It's got this red and silver flake on black. And there's a touch of purple in it, too. I don't know how well that's going to come through on the camera, but um, I opened up the package and I was looking at it, and you know this is what a standard brush hog looks like. You know, it's round. You know, most most of you guys probably know what it is, but a few of these, more like five of them, ended up looking like this. Completely flat. You know, I don't. I, let's put it this way: it definitely looks like the mold had failed. Like here's another one. It's just it's flat as can be and the only thing I can figure is the mold from Tackle Warehouse failed or not Tackle Warehouse from Zoom failed or it got flattened somehow it sat in the very bottom of a pack and just got completely smashed for who knows how long this is a color I've never seen so it may have been shipped from who knows where to for who knows how long so I got about five of these that are you know all just flat as can be so I immediately contacted Tackle Warehouse you know I was just like I, I said I've been a long time customer I've ordered from you in the past never had really any issues at all I said this isn't something I think it's your fault I'm assuming it's probably either Zoom's poor quality of the pour for the mold or whatnot but anyways they contacted me right back within an hour and they said well if you have any uh, questions just give us a call so I called their service department and I talked to a guy there and he goes, you know what? We're just gonna send you a new pack. You know, they said keep this one. Said the cost of the shipping for it to come back is not even gonna be worth it. And they shipped me out another one same day. I got the notice that it was shipped. So if you're looking to try different baits or to buy baits, you know, and not have to, you know, go travel everywhere and hunt down a certain particular bait, give Tackle Warehouse a try. You know, they're not a sponsor of mine or anything. It's just I use products that I feel are good and are very useful and with this experience they definitely confirm that they are one of the better bait shop or bait sites for buying baits you know I still support you know Bryant's here because I try to do my local business but sometimes when there's a color that they don't have and you know you have to resort to online and Tackle Warehouse they took care of me so if you need anything or you want to buy a bunch of baits at the one time their prices are great I mean they really are very reasonable and shipping for anything if you order fifty dollars you get free shipping but anyways what you're gonna see here in the rest of this video is my Thursday night tournament um, this past week uh, didn't go as planned only had three keepers I ended up doing a little bit of video game fishing off of the bow of my boat happened to uh, see a couple fish down below me and I was like yep I'm gonna catch one of those and sure enough I did it was a you know, 15 inch bass so that was kind of a cool experience. You don't get to do that very often on Lake of the Ozarks. I mean, most of the time you're just dragging baits on the bottom or throwing cranks or fishing topwater. But anyways, enjoy the video, and I'll have more coming up. I'm going to Truman tomorrow, so that should make a pretty good video. I've only fished that like three times my entire life, so I'm going to go out there and see what I can do. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll see you later. I know, I've seen that, and I was like, when you jerked him, like, uh, he definitely hit it, buddy. I thought you damn near jerked, I thought you damn near dropped your rod. I almost did.
it was just a combination of me trying to keep my line away from the corner of that dock when I set it. That's a small keeper. Yeah, I see it. God damn it, I had one swimming off with. Oh shit, you got fish. Damn. I had one swimming off with mine. I think mine's a keeper, though. He's a keeper. Give me a fucking Kentucky. I'll take a two pound Kentucky. Yeah. Hey, looky there. There's fish. All right. Get in the water. Good one. You got him? Uh, he's not gonna make it. He was swimming with it. I I seen him take off when you set the hook. No, no, no. This rod's pretty damn sensitive to feel that fish hit me from that ladder. 20 foot down and that small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just tell you, yeah. there's a big old school of fish right below us, and I'm gonna go play in it. When I dropped it down, I watched him come up and grab it. <laughs> On the screen, I watched, I watched the fish finder. <laughs> 